All right, so now let's look at the next iteration of how you might want to participate with the Mega Movie. This was the fixed position lens using a tripod and the alignment system that the app will help you do. It will help you uh, calibrate the lens and the phone and then it will steer you to where the eclipse is going to happen up to two hours after you do the calibration and the alignment. So basically you're going to point your camera into the clear blue sky and the app knows that the sun and the moon are going to arrive in that position sometime in the future. It knows what time, so it will steer you to that position. It's really cool. That's one of the best, my favorite features of the app is that it allows you to steer uh, into where the sun and the moon is, is going to be during the eclipse. But it's a little bit tricky. And that's with, your, with a fixed position lens. Now when I say fixed position, that's because you, as I've been talking, you see this lens is not moving around. It's like, it hasn't gone anywhere, right? It's pointing in the same spot in the sky. Now if I had focused on the sun when I started talking, uh, whenever, a couple minutes ago, the sun would have already moved out of the frame. So you wouldn't have it in your viewfinder, it'd be gone. Because it just, it's, it's there for a minute and then it's moving along and it's gone. So that's why we predict where the eclipse is going to be in the future. And you point it to the future position. That's what the app allows you to do. It's cool. But there's another way to, to do it. And that way we'll talk about in episode three of using the mega move. <laughs> that we're going to uh, look at when we go to episode three, using the Mega Movie mobile app with a tracking mount. Join us after the break. Yep. Cut. All right, let's move on to the next mount. The next mount is a tracking mount. Astronomers use them to, to keep moving. The Earth is moving. Therefore, when you're looking at something like stars and you're looking at the moon or the sun, it's moving and you want to be able to fix on it. So you use a thing called a tracking mount, which actually moves the camera at the same rate as the object that you're focused on. And the one that I, I prefer, oh man, all this stuff is hot. Whew. This is crazy. This is crazy. Of course, you're not going to have to worry about demonstrating three or four different setups. You're just going to get out there, do your business and get on with it. So you might not have as big a problem as I've got. I'm going to put some stuff in the shade. Baby, baby, it's hot. Too hot. Okay, the mount that I recommend is from a company called Skywatcher. And they're not paying me any money. It's just that as an eclipse chaser, I had to, I bought, I bought two different tracking mounts. The first one was good, but it cost twice as much as this and holds half as much weight. And actually I use DSLR uh, cameras and I use two of them at the same time with longer lenses, heavy lens, heavy glass lenses. And uh, you need a better, this is, this is the one. I'm not even going to describe why. This is the one I recommend. It's from Skywatcher USA and it's called the Star Adventurer. And they make two different iterations. They make a, a, a I don't remember. They make like a one package that has a, an additional bit, allows you to mount like two cameras, which I got. But uh, it's cheaper. It's, it's a good cheap mount. And when I say cheap, it's like $350. But still, that's half the price of the other one that I've got. And other mounts cost a lot more money. For eclipse chasing with small scopes and small equipment, this is the business. Get it, get them now, because they're gonna start flying off the shelves. Um, they actually have a new iteration of this that's Bluetooth connected to your phone so you can make adjustments. It's cool, it's a little bit smaller. Doesn't really cost less, but uh, I kinda want one of those. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna use this one because this is what I've got. It comes with a mount that you put onto your tripod head. This puppy, Skywatcher screws in here. Now, the idea here is that you're going to track the motion of the sun and the moon. How do you do that? Okay, this uh, is a polar alignment mount, which means you need to align the mount with the pole, the fixed position in the sky that is not moving in the sky. It's kind of where the North Star is. So if you know where the North Star is, it, it, and you can find that out using uh, Google or astronomy, depending on your location. Uh, you need to figure this out. Uh, and you can use a compass. I didn't bring my compass, but I know, I know where my North Star is here, because I just know. So you would level the mount, which that's the only thing I don't like about this, is that, that this one has a ball head attached to the, to the tripod, which means I can just turn this and adjust it. 
This one doesn't, which means to level it, I kind of have to do it with legs and get this bubble level correct. Actually, weirdly, that just was perfect. I'm not kidding you. Like first time out, one leg move. Bob's, you're a boom, get it. I mean, that's like, that's the best bubble I've ever had. If I could show you, I would, because it's like, I've never had one so perfect in the middle. The grace of God. Okay, so this is now level. And, and, oh, really? <laughs> I speak too soon because <laughs> you, you have to orient this towards north. And I didn't do that. And now I can't move it. You can move it a little bit. You can make this subtle adjustment here, but it's only within like 10 degrees. So the grace of God, yes, but I had a problem. So yes, first thing you do, put this, so it's got some flexibility. When you buy this, you'll see it. it. It adjusts like 10 degrees. You need to point this at Polaris, the North Star. Man, I was so excited by that bubble. Maybe it'll just still be level. No. <laughs> ah, that's funny. Okay, one more time. Okay, not as good, but this is for demonstration purposes only. So I'm not worried about it. Not near as good. I could lie to you, tell you it was perfect, but it's not. But we'll say it's level. And it's pointing generally at the North Star because I know the North Star is right up there. And I know that it's at uh, about 48.2 degrees or 48.9 degrees, just shy of 50 degrees. I haven't done this in a few months and now I'm thinking, is that right? Actually, the, the head probably is pointed there. No, I think I moved it just now. Oh, you know what? It might be 28 degrees. You know, it doesn't matter. Point is, any location you're at in America, you can find out at what angle the North Star is at. So you want it pointing at the North Star, you can use a compass to point north, and you can find out what angle it is. So in the daytime, like I can't see the North Star because it's daylight, you can't see any stars. But I know it's north and I know it's at X amount of degrees, which I thought was 48, but now I'm thinking it's 28. Sorry guys, and then I'm winging this. But you can find these things out. Okay, so that's just a mount. And actually, you can use that, you can use this in a much more sophisticated way. Here's this block that puts onto this. This is actually the tracking mount. This screws in here. And then it goes into, I think this is called the wedge. And I'm not gonna do this. I'm not gonna do this perfectly. Cause I don't have like a, you need like a little, like a quarter to tighten this up. I'm not gonna do it. Just got this thing here. This is like a, a set screw. And weirdly, hold on. What is that? Why isn't that going in the little hole? Oh, it was. Silly me. You know, all this stuff, it looks stupid on film. When you're doing it, it's just little stuff. So this thing would rotate, except it's got this little, this little set screw. Because now I pushed it too far. Okay, I'm not gonna worry about it. Except you wanna get it fixed in the right position when you actually do it on the day. This slides down and stops because of that thing so it doesn't fall out. Then you can lock that down. Now, now if I'm set, and I'm just gonna say that I am, I'm going to say it's just under 30 degrees. I'm going to lock it down. I'm going to say that I am pointing north, even though if I wasn't, I could make slight adjustments here to get it more correct. This is brilliant because it's actually got, this is screwed in for storage. 